Good morning. You've been a good boy and slept through for mummy and daddy, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Morning. Morning. Do you want your milkies? Talking to Daddy. Oh, oh me! He does the moment. biggest trumps ever. Do you literally sound like an adult? Give me five. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Say bye, Daddy. <laughs> Good morning. So. As you'll tell from the title of this video, yes, I've attempted a weekly vlog. So it will be me filming Monday to Sunday, uploading the following Monday. Um, I'm just going to try and keep it real, casual. It's just my life, day in, day out. Amy will also be in these vlogs and may take over weekends. Not take over, but just do different things like that, just so that she will be involved. Um, we're not setting up our own channels or anything, we really don't see the need to. I, I kind of just want to keep everything together and then if I film stuff I upload it. If Amy films stuff she uploads it. So yeah the weekly vlogs are um, me because I'm on maternity leave I'm doing nothing but she will also be involved. She comes around a lot anyway so you'll see her a lot. I don't know if I'm confident enough to do it yet like to put my life out there if you get what I mean it's totally different to going to Disney and vlogging and things like that and the only reason I'm actually doing this apart from the fact that I did really want to do it and I've mentioned it a few times I cannot believe how many people either commented on YouTube, commented on Instagram, personal messaged me on Instagram. I had so many messages just asking me to do it and saying that they'd watch it, they'd love to see us all like day in day out and things like that um, and I was quite overwhelmed with how many people actually said they would want to see it and then I just thought to myself Hannah if you enjoy watching other people's and you want to give it a go just give it a go, don't care what people think and this is what I, I like doing anyway, this is what Amy likes doing, we like doing YouTube, like we're nothing special but we are overwhelmed with the people that we do have like following us on YouTube and Instagram and it's like oh. also I'm gonna have to get used to this, my arm is dead already. Yeah I, I just was overwhelmed so I thought do you know what just give it a go, um, I'm keeping them as real as they are, it's my day in and out, could be boring, could be interesting, you don't know. So this morning was our usual, got up. Well, I was awake at about six because little mister was babbling away. Um, he woke up properly though at like half six once in his bottle. So I got out of bed, made his bottle, made myself a cup of tea, which we'll see. Um, that's our routine in the morning, giving him his bottle. Sometimes I do it in bed, but obviously I'm not going to vlog in bed when 
Christian's still asleep before he goes to work at night. Well, before he went to work at nine. Um, yeah, so then he's had a nap, so I've managed to quickly get myself dressed. The plan for today is to go food shopping. Usually I would do this with him, but if I'm going to attempt to a shop, I can go shopping on my own. That isn't a problem. It's with well he's three months old tomorrow so we'll see how it goes um i've recently put these shelves up and at the minute literally all i have is ivy from ikea and then these little things here i've not got anything on these two so i need to try and find something to put on there because it's just a little bit empty there's little mister he's been watching mickey mouse fast asleep bless him don't worry this isn't covering his face i'm very 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 paranoid and ocd about that i won't leave the room if he's not if he's got something up to him on a night like this is like his comforter thing now he's obsessed with it and he loves putting it to his face and sn like smelling it to sleep it's the cutest thing but once he's asleep i take it off him in his mills basket um obviously you most of you know i live with christian now like i don't live at home with mum dad and amy but like i said they're always round. All I need to do now is make his bottles up for the day because the, the bottles have been washed and the sterilizer's been put on. So I need to make those for the day. Let me just put that down there. Just why I'm going out of the room. What I do need to do though is wake him up because, well, not wake him up, but I need to get him changed. These were his little, he went in a baby pool yesterday for the first time, you'll probably see on my Instagram, these were his little trunks. Things don't ever look small on pictures and stuff, but they are, they're tiny. Oh, this is his room, I'll show you his room. Obviously he's only 11 weeks old, well 12 weeks old tomorrow, so he's not in here yet. He sleeps, we take his Moses basket into our room, which is a mess, I'll show you that as well. Um, but the changing table that was in the living room, we did have here when I was pregnant, but it's so much easier having it in the living room now just for quickly changing him. Um, so here is like a little height chart that a friend bought me. Let's just put his little thing in there for now. But yeah, that'll be used when he's a little bit older. These are just these parts that clip onto his pram. The pram's in the car. We barely use this. We do on long days out, but it's so much easier just clipping the car seat onto the pram. You'll also see on Instagram. That's like a carrier thing. I've not used it. This is just... A big massive basket of tum tums which were from my old well or soom soom's whatever you want to call them which when he's older he will absolutely love playing with them literally sit him on the floor tip them all out there's over there's over a hundred <laughs> this is his cot which also grows with him into like a bed but there's no mattress or anything on it we haven't bought the mattress because there's no need to he can't, he isn't going to be in here for a few more months yet I still have like spur frames hanging around. These are like his nighttime sleeping bags, but he isn't hasn't been using them either because it's been warm. These are just bits of clothes that I need to put away. Um, he's got little blocks and things. This lights up. This is cute. Most fantastic magical things can happen, and it all starts with a wish. I had to get this because wishes, if you know what I mean. In here are just all his socks. Good night to the moon and turned off the light little case and sleeps here tonight. This is adorable. I absolutely love this. K that lights up and then here and then the drawers are just full of dribble babes, babes, mitts, hats, which he's never really wore these hats. They give you these hats with like newborn sets. Newborn's heads are not that big. Like he's never really been able to wear them. I put one on him for the first time yesterday. And then he's got spur blankets all down here, which he's not used. So I'm saving these ones for when he's a little bit older. And he's got some there as well. Um, and then these are two little outfits for like, are too big, didn't fit in his wardrobe, but they're for like six to nine months, three to six. And then this was what was made at his baby shower. Everyone put the thumbprint on with paint and signed it, it was really cute. This was mine when I was a baby. My mum gave me that to put in here. So this is his little wardrobe. Amy bought him this, it's like a dressing gown. In here is basically clothes up to three months. Now, obviously, when you look at baby clothes, your four month old might still fit in a three month old outfit. That's absolutely fine. I, however, got that many clothes from friends and family and also bought myself that I didn't even know where to begin. So I used this wardrobe for now for up to three months clothes because they're what he's mostly gonna wear now so that involves like vests new outfit tops shirts he's still not wore this and i really don't want him to get any bigger his play suits which are my favorite things to have him in he looks adorable in them joggers jeans shorts all things like that hats are down here jackets and things like that which he's not needed for weeks and then down here are pajamas and vests 
However, we've not really put him in pyjamas because, again, these are a little bit bigger. So we, I need to wait till he's a little bit longer in the body. Um, and then he has all these little shoes, obviously. Some of these don't fit. These are quite big. All these, these fit him now. And his little Mickey sandals fit him now. The rest... Oh, and these. The rest are still a little bit too big. We barely put him in shoes, though, to be fair. But what I did have to do when I got that many clothes is baby grows and things like that I separated. So under his bed don't know if you can see are just boxes all labeled for like his next sizes these ones so first size baby grows um this is a box that no longer fits already with her newborn clothes not to one month baby grows don't fit him now those four bo five boxes don't fit but over here these are for like up to three months but these were long legged so i've he still can't fit in them even though he's three months tomorrow um and then all at the back is three to six months tops play suits baby grows vests he's literally literally set i don't think i'll ever have to go clothes shopping for him again so yeah that is the little man's room just need to sort all the washing out when i get back from shopping i've ended, I've ended up giving you a house tour oh i said i'm telling you don't let me forget i need to put the bags for shopping in the car the hallway things are still not complete even little things like this like these are what came with it i need to put pictures in them but for now i've just got these two um our bedroom if you look this way it's complete like this is how i want it well, i was going to put something in the middle there but i really don't think i'm going to i think i like it a little bit like minimalistic i don't want it cramped full of stuff this side of the room is absolutely fine i'm finished however you turn this way and it's a little bit of a mess so basically we still have these we still don't have a wardrobe we've lived here since august but we wanted to get every other room finished before we did ours and a wardrobe was not that essential when we had the wardrobe racks um and drawers so that's why we don't have a wardrobe however we are in the next month ordering us in the one i want um so yeah that side of the room's fine this side of the room is just a little bit of a mess again you've probably just seen all the washing that needs folding and hanging and things like that and then obviously boy section um this is an apartment by the way it's not a house however it's honestly such a big apartment it doesn't have that apartment feel i can't explain it it's just really really big and then obviously you come into here got the kitchen which is just your basic <laughs> cluttered kitchen i need to these are the bottles that i need to fix now yeah we have a cereal dispenser don't ask the cereal needs to be added to the shopping list um yeah just your average kitchen Oh, look at my behaviour. Mum and Dad got me that for Christmas chopping board. Yeah, so that is the kitchen. Here's his Moses basket. This gets tucked into our room on a night. He sleeps at the side of me. We have big mirror. And um, we have a little dining section over here. We barely sit and eat meals though, but obviously with Christian working nights so much, we don't have sit down meals a lot anyway. This area is still not complete either, I would say. Like, I have the dining room table, but part of me really wants a desk and a computer, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it um oh i like fake plants by the way you probably <laughs> probably can tell um down here is just his little chair and his play mat if we ever grab it out you'll always see random blankets everywhere yeah like i said these need filling up little man snoring away can you hear him coffee table tv seti and um, this is still from his first scan i've not took it off <laughs> And the cute little, sometimes the little things take up the biggest space in your heart. Um, these were his bounty pictures, which you'll see seen across Instagram and things like that when he was born. I also need to change up a few pictures, because I, I think I could change the 3D, because I've got that in his bedroom. And then there's my um, happily ever after picture. And then obviously, yeah, he's changing. Oh, that's Dad's Father's Day present. Um, and he's changing my it's literally got everything. This turns into a bath if you lift the thing up. That's literally got all my essentials. Um, so yeah, that is a brief tour. And obviously you've got the toilet by the front door, but you don't need to see the toilet. So yeah, that is everything. So I'm going to attempt now. Oh, and I have like, I think everyone has a crap cupboard. And when I say crap cupboard, I mean like, I'm just going to even open it. It gets that full <laughs> just full of everything even christmas stuff i've done enough talking now i need to wake him up i'll see what mood he's in when he wakes up whether he's gonna want his milk or not get him changed and go shopping hello baby boy are you awake now are you awake now have you scratched your face in your sleep have you scratched your face in your sleep cut it up no one the camera <laughs> 
Hi, gorgeous boy. Are we going to get you ready to go shopping with mummy? Right, let's get you changed. I keep putting him in this, but I'm so scared that he's soon going to not fit in this. And so I, I like to keep putting him in. It's like my favourite outfit. It's just like you have to start biting these fingers. Stop biting these fingers. He's obsessed with biting his wrists at the uh, wrist fists at the minute. Obsessed. We've got him chew ties and little teething rings. Obviously not teething yet, but he just loves to chew himself. Look at this dummy ring where your dummy's been. Come on then, mister. Are you ready? Are you ready? Shall we just quickly brush this hair? Shall we just quickly brush this hair? And put a little bit of cream on. Tiny, tiny bit on your forehead. Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's so nice. Stop biting your fists. Bear. Is that better? Can't believe you scratched yourself, mister. Look at that scratch. Hold the shopping thought. I'm not risking going without giving him his bottle. Um, Cause you are due a feed soon, so let's try give it you now. Shall we try give it you now? <gasps> What's this? <gasps> Is that your milkies? Is that your milkies? <laughs> Just chilling, giving the mister man his milk and watching Adam Hutton absolutely love him yes i also have a fan on it is absolutely boiling outside don't know if you can tell how sunny it looks but it feels it in here as well i'm, I'm like sweating already excellent <laughs> Have watched the previous vlogs. Ready to go in the car seat. You love the car, don't you, Mr. Ah, where are we going? Where are we going? Are we ready? I forgot the one thing that I told myself not to forget, and that was bags. Are you smiling at Mummy on the camera? Are you ready to go shopping? I took this blanket, I clearly know it's boiling and he's not going to need a blanket, but I've never been food shopping with him, with him on my own. And I might have to actually put him in one of those like car seats that's on a trolley even though I'm sometimes a bit funny and Christian's like no 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 like so I've got a spare blanket to put underneath just in case we need to. Shall we go? Touch him in there. Touch him in there. Right let's get going. <sighs> also I'm not having any windows open am I? We have to have the cold air con don't we? Because mummy had a bee fly in the car at KFC the other day and it was not fun. Mummy thinks she might have blacked out a little bit. It was the scariest thing ever. Wasps and bees are my biggest fear. Wasps more than bees. But they make the same noise and have a sting. So the fear is still there. Wait a minute. My alarm's got to keep going off. How are you? Are we here for shopping? And mummy's gonna attempt to put you in that trolley right there. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're at Aldi. Usually we we shop here or we go to Morrison's and grab bits at Tesco's. We don't have a set place, we go everywhere, but Aldi's our one that we get the essentials from. Should we go see how fun this is for mum? Trying to get you in a trolley. <laughs> Ready to go shopping, mate? Should get you out this sun? So I am back, probably a sweaty mess, um, it's absolutely boiling outside. He was so good in there, bless him, like, I was so anxious because it was the first time I'd taken him like on my own. I put him in the trolley, like he could have stayed in his car seat and I put him in the trolley but I wanted to try him in that and I put the blanket underneath him. But bless him, he was, he was so funny, he was absolutely shattered so he got a bit whiny but it was only because he's that tired but too intrigued at what was going on around him. But no, that was a success, I mean... <sighs> Feeling proud of myself. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be one of those boring people that shows you um, a food, a weekly food shop. I say a weekly, it'll probably last us two weeks because I've still got cupboards full as well from the last shop. But I'm going to be one of them, so if you don't like it, just skip ahead. Yeah, you wouldn't think there was only two of us living in this house. Um, I also plan meals for like if Amy comes around and things like that. Right, I'll start over here. So yeah, I've got tins of beans. I've tried, I've picked these up. I haven't ever tried them. Um, it's tuna in like tomato and basil. Now, when me and my mum did Weight Watchers, a like a few years ago now, we used to eat some something like this on like either cracker breads or toast, and I uh, I just absolutely loved them. So I've picked them up to see if they taste like it. Pick three of those up. We'll see if it does. Um, 
garlic and brussels i was craving pate when i was pregnant but obviously you're not supposed to eat it so i like to pick one of these up now this is just for my dinner when i'm finished just a ready-made cheese layered salad because i'm absolutely starving and i'm yet to eat anything today and it is half one <laughs> i've got a tin of chili cooking sauce because i'm going to make my own chili this week for one night when amy's round she said she miss misses me cooking chili bowls and i used to cook these when i lived at home in wraps then i put them in the oven so they go hard and then I put chili in the wrap you'll you'll see in the week um red pesto this is to go with pasta i've already got that up in the cupboard that is for spinach and chorizo pasta that my friend lauren cooked us once and now we are obsessed with it so I've got a spicy chorizo there. I've got a sliced chorizo for like sandwiches and stuff. Two packs of the microwave rice just because it's quick and easy. That's for the chilli. And I've also got some more rice up in the cupboard as well. Um, pork pies just because I am obsessed with pork pies. Panini rolls because I do these for lunch for me and Christian. I like slice them in half. So there's like four. Lay them on an oven tray and put like cheese and ham and chorizo and things like that on. Um, wraps like I said for chilli balls and things. Brioche burger buns for chicken burgers. And also I love eating them with like chorizo for sandwiches milk normal bread i picked up two chicken and bacon pasta bakes because christian's on like lates and i'll save him food that i cook but if i cook something like freezer wise quick for myself he's got this i picked myself up some raspberries because i really fancy some six eggs cheese we always get red leicester because christian flips if i don't get that cheese um coleslaw for him i also like coleslaw as well these are for christian he's obsessed with these caramel desserts a cucumber digestive biscuits bourbons christian if you're watching i got two packets so you can't moan at me for eating them all we have one each <laughs> I got him some bananas, I don't like bananas. Um, mixed peppers to go in the chilli, along with the mints for the chilli as well. Um, I picked these up, these um, sunstream vine tomatoes. Um, Amy, if you're watching, or you'll probably see this within the week if she comes around and stays over she keeps asking me for a big posh breakfast and she really wants these tomatoes done in the oven with pepper and eggs and that's just amy for you isn't it so i've picked you some up amy spinach to go with the chorizo um and red pesto pasta um garlic bread chicken steaks which i'm going to put use as chicken burgers some hot and spicy chicken chunks steak bakes which i'm obsessed with just a dead quick meal um sweet potato fries and a lettuce and then over on this side is just a pack of water, some um, nappy slats because I'm running out. Um, toilet roll, just your cheap packets of crisps just because they're there, there if we want them. And then some cereal, Christian's a big kid and loves golden puffs. And then I've just got some bran flakes. So yeah, that is everything. We have also still got a freezer full and cupboard, but it's that awkward stage where you've got things that don't go with others so you have to get the other essentials in and stuff like that that food shop is usually our that's usually always our list that we get but the only thing i couldn't get is sour cream i couldn't find sour cream for the chili so the night that i do make that i'll have to go and get some sour cream i think amy's coming for tea but i might see if mum wants to come as well um so yeah that is that so I'm now just going to put it away and then eat my pasta. He is fast asleep. He's in his, I've left him in his car seat because facing the fan so he gets a bit cool. But um, so while I've got some time, I'm going to quietly put this away and eat my pasta and maybe some pot pies and a bottle of water because I'm really thirsty. Right, anyway.
And so I'm just gonna have some chill time now to myself. He's still asleep. So I'm going to get a nice cold bottle of water and eat my pasta and catch up on some YouTube. I think it's milk time, isn't it? Someone's getting crabby. And just as we thought we was relaxing all to ourselves tonight, Keaton, Daddy's just texted and said he's got the night off instead of having to work straight through. Which is nice for him, so he's only had to do the day, morning and day shift and not stay all night as well. Tip it in. And relax. Is that better now? Is that better now? <laughs> well, Amy's just ran, she's on her way home. Um, so when she gets off the bus, she's gonna pop in here and say hello. I might actually ask Auntie Amy to sit in and just watch you while I go pick Daddy up because I think that might be quicker. Oh, he's not having any of it. <laughs> Is he here? Yeah? Is he here? Yeah? He boots. Maybe is it? Right, Amy, I've got Sister, a surprise. get me some tablets off? Yeah, she's Come got a headache. Family. I've got a surprise to show you. Go on. <laughs> Wait, just let me get you your tablets. I think they're in this crap drawer somewhere. So what is it you always ask me to make? Chilli bells. No, you know I'm cooking your chilli this week. Yeah, day. I think that's what I asked you. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. <laughs> I got you your tomatoes. <laughs> Because I said, um, if she stays at some point this week, she will. Have you got balsamic vinegar? No, see, they didn't have Spinach. that. I do have balsamic vinegar, but not the syrup syrup version or whatever you want to call it. This is the most I've ever drunk water. I don't know. Oh, have you got water, fruit in it? Now that it's got fruit in it, I'm actually drinking it. How was work? Tiring. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> Are you right, well, if you popped in, do you mind just sitting with him if I go get Christian? Yeah, I need to nip the retail pack as well, but I won't be long. I felt. Go if you want to, I'll take him. No, I don't mind. Um, put TV on or whatever. Did you get stuff for chili bowls? Yes, Did I've you get got wraps. Yes, I've got everything you, you require for your tea. This Sour week. cream? No. They didn't have any. They only so had. One thing. They I only can't eat chili, that's how crazy. I know, they only had the, um, you know, the dip version. <laughs> like the tortilla version. The dead tangy one that you oh, get crisps in. Yeah. Oh. You can't eat that with chili Why? bowls. So, Why yeah, so that. I don't know. So, the night we got. I do chili bowls for you. I'll nip to Tesco and get. There doing? might there might be some sour cream actually oh. at the um, retail part now. Are you seeing Boo? He's dead. Look. He's dead. Hey. He's dead. Who is it? Oh, excuse you. Excuse you. Do. Mm. Oh, it feels weird doing this. What's it do? I might go and raid raid a cupboards. She probably said that I do this. I just eat their food. What have we got? Tea. Could I have a cup of tea? I want food though. I want some chocolate. Case, where's your chocolate? Oh, I'm sure this is the goody cupboard. Ah, found it. Oh, look at all that. Oh, I saw one of these. Wow, there's really not many left. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, well, there's more. These are my favorites, but I know Christian likes these. That's why there's none left. Salted caramel. Nah, I'm gonna go with fudge. Jason, don't tell mummy or daddy. <laughs> don't tell them. It's daddy home. Hmm? <laughs> What's saying? 
Mm. What's saying? I said the word because I always do it wrong. What are you saying, Baba? Flash wipes. All the this is just a boring. This is a really boring mum shop. I feel like my mum. Um, colour patches for when I put the baby's clothes in because obviously they've got all different like colour patterns on and stuff so I can mix it with whites. Washing powder, we use the Furry Nam Bio and then, oh, I found sour cream for when I do chilli. Yeah, so the last thing we bought, Tommy Tippy Teats. Now he has the um, the Furry Flow ones um, because the other ones were too fast for him. The first ones that he got with it, like the first size were too slow. So um, even when he is like three months tomorrow, even when he gets a little bit older, we're still going to keep him on the very flow because like he downed his bottle before really quickly. So we can get milk out of it quick enough when he needs to. But we bought extra bottles, so had to buy extra teeth. So we went to Boots and they were like £5 each or 5 99 And we've just found these in the home bargains for £1.49. And I don't understand, like, it's, there's a legit like Tommy Tippy very flow ones we paid 5.99 the other week for these and they were £1.49 all the other sizes were as well so if any of you have babies go and get yourself some teats where are you looking where are you looking he's coming he's coming mm. who is he is it daddy <laughs> Hey, he knows that camera now. Yeah. What's that? You can't see him. Who's that? He knows this camera now. Are you gonna like mummy vlogging? Casey, okay, so are you watching Formula One with Daddy? What are we do for tea? Look at us, lot just chilling. <laughs> It's Tuesday. Um, won't be fit. I edited last night's footage just to see what I thought, how it was going, and it's literally like Monday is half an hour long. I'm not committing to daily because some days are going to be shorter than other, like today, because we're going to his family's after the cinema, so won't be filming there. Um, we just had some friends come around because um, they haven't seen Kaysen yet. Plan is now, Kaysen's going to go to my mum's for a bit. So you're going to go to Nanny's for a little bit, aren't you? And then me and Christian have some things to do in town. We need to go and get his and Kaysen's passport checked at the post office and sent off. And then we're going to grab some lunch. And then we are going to go to the cinemas. Because obviously that's one of the things we can't do with a baby anymore um, but he really really wants to go see Jurassic World so we're gonna go run some errands in town have some dinner and then go and watch Jurassic World so we need to get you ready for nannies and you are three months old today uh oh and you're not happy about it are you not happy at all three months old he's just had his milk so he's whinging because he's tired Three months old, mister. Twelve big weeks. I literally don't know where that time's gone. Should we get you ready for nannies? So we've got nappies. Bottles with water already in from the kettle. Hat in case nanny's outside. It's still quite a nice day. And then I just need to fill your milk pods up. So this is what we use whenever we go out. Um, we use it for night time as well so it's easy. So if we don't have to get out. Mainly when he was little... Well, mainly when he was newborn and he was doing like one o'clock feeds, three o'clock and all through the night. Um, so it's just three compartments, you put your scoops in so he's on six ounces, six in each. Push this on, twist it when you want to use it, pull the thing to open it and dip it into the milk. So I'll quickly do that now. <laughs> Do you know what? He's left like a little bit in that. He might have that now before we go. Wow, 
Look at my step right here. I'm out of breath after walking around the step. Oh my god. What did I get? Coffee chocolate chip? Mm -hmm. With two cups. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. Let me see yours. You covering it? That looks disgusting. What's in it? Um, Rocky Road. Raspberry. Cherry one as well. And yeah, cherry. And free posters. <laughs> These are well good. I got these when we went to watch Beauty and the Beast and framed it. They're so good and they're proper thick as well, aren't yeah. they? Like, you actually frame them. I don't know why I've got them. Hey. <laughs> well, frame them. You're a dinosaur key guy. Yeah. <laughs> are we on, Case? Are we on? <laughs> right, so it's been a little bit, been a while since I spoke. Um, we went to the cinemas and then popped around to my mum's for a cup of tea, picked him up and then we nipped to his other nan and granddad's so christian's family and it's now gone eight o'clock i can't find my phone um and we're absolutely starving so you saw the massive food shop that i did yesterday and i've ended up with this which i knew we would because we've not really random prickles <laughs> um because i've not really ate so got some food and then feed you mister we've picked him up some hungry baby because today he's been so whiny and he's wanted his milk literally every two hours if not less so we're going to attempt to try him on this and see how that goes see if that makes it any better and then tonight we're just chilling hopefully watch love island again with a glass of wine if you go to sleepies yeah we will yeah we will ready for your naughty needles tomorrow oh no I've also bought, um, I can show this because I'll give it to them before I put this up. Um, I've got a frame down here and then I ordered, if I can just show you. This, it's it's so nice, like it's on like quite thick card or plastic, I don't know what it is. I'll cover their address but I send the postcode off and they have like print it off and dot an area. And it says Ashley and Danny and then when they moved in. Just a really, really cute idea so I'm going to frame that and give it to them as one of the presents for moving in so yeah might not hear much was more from today but just gonna eat our mcdonald's chill and watch love island and we might even pop a film on tonight if we feel like it i'm absolutely dreading his needles tomorrow like i just don't want to think about it i cried my eyes out last time we'll see how it goes so it is four o'clock in the morning well about <laughs> 20 to 5 now but he woke up at 4 for his ball and literally projectile vomited all over the quilt and the blanket so this is fun this is really fun and I just want to go to sleep oh yeah so technically this is Wednesday this is how I'm starting Wednesday's day, which is fun. And he's got his needles later, so I'm just not going to get any sleep, I don't think. Oh, I was supposed to measure that in there. Oh, well, I'm too tired. Say hello, everyone. Is it Naughty Needle Day? <laughs> Is it? Oh, uh, uh. I know. Is it Naughty Needle Day? <laughs> Tell everyone Naughty Needle Day. I hate it. Do you like the camera? Do you like the camera? Yeah, I'm hoping they'll weigh in today as well. I think they do. If not, I'll have to go to, up to the um, the clinic next Wednesday. I think it'll be the weigh in. Usually I've been putting normal clothes on him in baby girls for night time now, but I've put him in a baby girls so he's nice and settled. When we get home and mummy doesn't have to mess with them sore legs. <coughs> I know. But yeah, we're a little bit early. It's about September 3, so I might suggest going for a cost or something while we wait. Um, luckily Christian can come with me while he gets his needles and then he'll go straight to work from there. We'll just have to see how this goes. I've got his calp all ready when we get back anyway, because they say to give him some calp straight away. And I've got his thermometer because last time he got a temperature so I just had to monitor that. Last time he had his first needles we both went to bed at like half eight. I didn't go to sleep but it was just to chill with him and he literally wouldn't let me put him down. He's not like that. He doesn't mind being held and he doesn't mind being left alone. 
We'll see how it goes when we meet. Oh, my baby, bye. Do they know they can't go down here? Yeah, because they can turn right. Oh. Loki so sound asleep. Yeah, he has to go. We're gonna make me strip him and everything. Yeah. Actually, no. Last time we just went. How are you home, baby ah. boy? Are you smiling for mummy? That's good. That's good. Bless you. Oh, and did the naughty lady get blood on your nice clean baby grow? I say naughty lady, she's so lovely. The nurse that does his needles, but it's just not nice, is it? She's so reassuring, bless her. I swear she remembered me from last time crying. Um, I didn't cry, which is good. Are you smiling at mummy? I didn't cry, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't cry. When we got there, she said, look at the state of my hair. When we got there, she said it's only one needle. Um, last time it was three. Well, one needle and some drops. Last time it was drops and three needles. But no, just one needle. So it wasn't too bad, but he still did his usual. Like, she puts the needle in and he just sort of like goes, and then just like literally you see it come over his face and he just screams, crying. He's curled up right up to me, bless him. You still managed to smile now for mummy. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but no, that's not too bad. So in four weeks, on the 11th of July, um, he's got his last lot, but that's three needles again, so I'm absolutely dreading that. But she was like, I've got half eight in the morning, but that's like the rest of <laughs> I've got half eight in the morning, but only other than that, I've got like, the only other appointments I've got after that is like, quite late on and I was like please give me the earliest you've got so I can just come get it out of the way spend the rest of my day with my baba yeah and we just got daddy off at work didn't we so daddy's gone to work and he'll see you tonight should we go get your gal ball yeah yeah should we go get your gal ball yeah baby I've got gal ball temperature I know he's not got a temperature because I can feel him already and he's not hot I have this thermometer so I don't know who it's by brother Max or something and it's really really good there it is sliding um you put it under his when he's older you put it in his mouth but now I put it under his armpit um and it's really good it lights up red if he's got a temperature of the screen and it'll tell you what the temperature is and if it's an okay temperature it'll light up green with the temperature which is really good because if you weren't aware of what numbers if you weren't aware of what degree let's just say the temperature is up or down the color will help you as well which is also good it also has a memory tracker which is why i've just done his temperature now i knew he didn't have one but i checked it anyway and he didn't it was 36.6 
but it's got a memory tracker so next time I turn that on now to check his temperature next the previous reading comes up first so I can see if it's gone up or down it's really really good I really like this got it from Boots now Amy I know you're gonna be really jealous of the tea right <laughs> I know you're gonna be really jealous of the tea it's just toast with no butter on, but it's like a tu it's tuna with like tomato and basil with some that pepper. Smells right. No, it's tuna with tomato and basil. Yeah, that, I promise you that smells right. And pepper. Me and Mummy said this when I was on Weight Watchers and I just love it. It's just nice and easy. Me! Oh, it's yours. I don't know what it smells like. We can show it because it won't. This will be edited, won't it? We won't see it. Let's smell it. There's quite big up Yeah, it is. It reminds me of your milky bath one you get. Yeah. It's like that, oh, isn't it? Bad. Pick this up for dad. He won't see it by the time. Oh, I love that. Okay. Is that focused? Woo! My tea. Mm. With a bit of that. Mm. Oh, what did I get from Primark? Look at this. Are you ready? <gasps> How nice is that? I got an, another. Disney bag, but I haven't seen this one. But it's got like two parts to it. But I haven't seen that. They had it in a backpack as well. This I don't know how it's gonna look because I didn't try it on. But it's like a really fitted bodycon thing. But oh, nothing exciting. A basket. I thought it was a hat. When you first pulled out, I thought it was like a wrong and really oversized beach hat. See, I'm gonna get it now. I tried some hats on, and Stacey was like, "You really got suit hats." <laughs> Thanks. So Stace, if you're watching this, <laughs> thanks a lot. And then these, I got a little, like some tops for dad, but I don't know about the size. <laughs> Christian's got that. Has he? <laughs> oh, like a cool... Call of Duty. Yeah, it just says Call of Duty. Yeah, Christian's got that. Has he? Um, I've gone for a kind of similar style because I love all these types with all like yeah, places dad, dad in. Likes them and I like, yeah. But it's just like another one. Oh, I've probably picked one up that's small knowing me. And another one that's just got like New York on it. And then this one. Yeah, see, I think that might be too short. That might be just my friend. I think. Yeah. Oh, I was doing so well. Yeah, that's it. My little shopping spree. I'm gonna eat some raspberries. Oh, you got raspberries. Yeah. I tell you what I was going to pick up for Marks and Spencer the other day. And I was in yesterday, I was going to get some meringues. Because I knew you had raspberries, I knew we had some strawberries, I think. And then I was going to get ice cream and make the dessert that I had in oh, yeah. Chef de France. Oh, what kisses! I just got my first giggle! It was, it was, it was little. I'm, I'm all excited. But it was like a, <laughs> and that was it. But, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, he's not going to do it now. <gasps> Shall we go get our pyjamas on? So it's much later now. It's about half past nine. Him and just getting everywhere. Ready for the night. He's fast asleep. I keep checking him though. I keep checking his temperature and stuff. He's fine. He's cool as anything. So maybe it's not going to be like the first time he had his noodles. She did say to me he's that little bit older now, so they're getting a better immune system, so he might not even have a temperature. So that's good. I think I might pull myself a glass of wine, or shall I wait till Christian gets in? It's hard. I'm trying to stay off social media because Love Island, the girls are like recoupling. Sorry, this is probably really boring if, if nobody watches Love Island. Um, the girls are recoupling, and I'm trying to hold out from going on social media so I don't find out. Just let me shut his blinds. Um, I still did you not notice on Monday I said that all this needs putting away still not done it I still haven't done our washing either it's all washed I've just not hung it up I need a wardrobe do I get myself a glass of wine the baby's asleep now and I think he might sleep through because he had his hungry baby milk and then like an hour like an hour after he was hungry he, to be fair since getting home from the doctors he slept for a good three hours so that's probably why so this I gave him another milk he only had half of that but I didn't give him another lot of hungry baby I gave him the first of milk I don't want to overfeed him the hungry baby because it, it might be a bit too heavy for his stomach to just have that much so soon been a bit sicky today as well I wonder if it's fat I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to put myself a glass of wine. 
so yeah i think i'm gonna end today's vlog here and just chill for the rest of the night and just wait until christian gets home and then we'll watch Love Island and then just probably go to bed. Um, so yeah. Oh, and quickly as well, before anyone says, yeah, I do put red wine in the fridge. No, you're not supposed to. No, I don't need it in the fridge. Like, if I go for a meal, I'm happy with it. Obviously, the way it's supposed to be served. But me and my mum both like it chilled. So all you real wine drinks out there will hate us. But Hey, baby boy. This <laughs> smiling. So it is Thursday. Um... Sorry, I'm like having a no makeup day. Um, I've got mascara on and some brows, but can't be bothered today, can I? I might put a bit on later, we'll see. I'm just going to nip to the retail part for a few bits. Um, I'm just having a mooch, really. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Look at that little outfit. I have got shorts on, just very short. <laughs> Look at that outfit. Hi, Bubba. Look at me, look at me. Everywhere's all nice and tidy, isn't it, Kisamu? Your bedroom and all your clothes are away. Mummy and Daddy's bedroom and Mummy and Daddy's clothes are away. Has Daddy come home and finished early again? Daddy come home and finished early again. <gasps> Is Nanny and Auntie Amy coming? They are. They're going to come over for some tea. What are you looking at? What are you looking at on Mummy's top? <gasps> Who's here? <gasps> Who's getting you? <gasps> <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Is he looking? Uh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna zoom in. Poor baby. Of course, afternoon it is friday um i haven't videoed at all today it's like five o'clock i think 
Um, I'm not video today, we've just had a really chill day. Um, Christian's gone to work now. So it's just me and this little man. And we are off to my friend's house because they've got the keys to the new house. So I mentioned that I'd be helping them today. So that's where we're both going. I just need to knit to Tesco's first because I need to get them a birthday a, a birthday card, a moving in card, and then see if I can get something else to add to the frame that I got with the printing. Um, so yeah, are we ready to go? There won't be much filming today, but I'm pretty sure you'll all be happy with that. The fact that if you've watched up until this point, it's it's long. It's very long. I'm also going to see in Tesco's if there's anything I can wear for tomorrow night for my birthday meal because I ordered something and it's come and I really don't know if I like it or not, but we'll see. So yeah, should we get going? Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> good morning. Went to my friend's new house yesterday, helped them move in. That was really good. Just got takeaway, chilled and set some of the things up. Obviously, they're going to be doing that for a while. Um, so yeah, we did that. And then I'm just doing, well, just got out of the shower, just doing makeup because we're then going to go shopping. We need to pick up his dad a Father's Day present. He's already got his card and stuff. And then we need to go and visit them. And then when we come back, he's got work. I'm taking a little one to sleep at my mum and dad. I'm catching up on that sounds fun while I'm doing my makeup and Kason's just watching some TV. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And then tonight I've got my birthday meal and drinks out, which Christian's going to meet us after work. <laughs> you fighting with dad? <laughs> Okay, so I'm back. I'm having the biggest stress ever. Didn't like my body before, I've said this before. But post baby body to go out. And this is my natural hair, literally a frizz bomb. This is what happens when I get ready. Straighteners, literally stuff here, the ironing board still out, clothes on there that I didn't want to wear. Right, so I changed my outfit. I'm literally having one of those days where you're just like, why are you trying to look nice? I'm overthinking it obviously, but I just feel really self-conscious since birth and I don't know why. Didn't ever like my body anyway, but the fact now that I've had a baby and I'm trying to look nice and I've got a white brow on, which just doesn't go. Her needs dying. Eyelashes, I've got like a bit missing, which is so annoying. Um, but hopefully, I'm just going to drink a lot and forget about what I look like. That's the plan. So this is what I'm wearing. I've got just like a peachy nudie blazer, black frilly top. I've got my ripped jeans on and then I've got these heels on which are just like, can't show you. <laughs> this is what it's like to go out as someone who doesn't really go out that much anymore. So yeah, I'm going to take my camera out with me. I'm not going to film because if we do go out, out for drinks, I mean, I don't know. The meal is booked for seven. It's now 10 to seven. So I am going to get my bag, lock up everywhere and then head out. I am starving, but I also just know that I just need a drink. I just need a glass of wine. <laughs> so it's just these little cute things for now. Should we let daddy in? The bedroom is a mess from going out last night. Uh. <laughs> look, look what it says. Ooh, that's cute. <laughs> these are the only little bits because your main thing hasn't come yet. 
Oh, that's cute, that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Mm. That's cute, cool, that. Like, what's going on? Oh, there's <laughs> Well, <laughs> Does he see Dad on it? Ooh, give me a kiss. Mm. If anyone wants to know what having a baby is like, this is the current situation. Um, yeah, excellent.